Hi. I'm going to read a little bit of my book to you. Uh, this book is anti-racist. I'm the author, Tiffany Jewell, and it's illustrated by Aurelia Duran, um, who is an amazing artist. This book is not just a book to read, but it's a book that's going to move us uh, forward in understanding ourselves and understanding the world around us. There's 20 chapters in this book and every chapter um, at the end has an activity for us to do so we can learn a little bit more about the world around us, make a plan for action to really work to dismantle racism. And I would like to honor everyone who reads this book Replacing the KS with X allows for every reader who has never been seen before to see themselves in here. We'll capitalize Black, Brown, Indigenous, people of color, and folks of the global majority because I believe it is important to center the voices and lives of those who have been marginalized, silenced, and purposefully left out of our history for so long, for too long, really. And I'm building solidarity in the language I choose. Language is incredibly important. So folks of the global majority, I'm going to define that for you from the glossary. An empowering people-centered term that reminds folks that Black, Brown, and Indigenous people are numerically the majority of people in the world. We often get called minorities but we're not, we're the global majority. Majority of the world are black and brown and indigenous folks. My dad is black, my mom is white, um, and black biracial is, is how I live my life. I'm curious as to how you identify. And also it will change over time, um, depending on how we grow, the language that we, we use. I also open with, a letter to you all. To all of you, I wrote this book for you. It's for everyone. The words on these pages are for our ancestors and those who should not yet be our ancestors, but who passed on too soon. I wrote this for you out of a love for liberation and our humanity. This is the book I wish I'd had when I was younger. I'm 38 now, almost 39 in May, and there was no book like this. There was no, um, there was nothing to help me understand racism, uh, the history and the present when I was a kid. This book contains information I never learned when I was younger and you will probably not be taught in school. Our tears, our frustration and rage, our exhaustion and the fire to move on. There are too many names to name and that list keeps growing every day, and it's not okay. My optimism has brought me to action and to sharing these words with you because I believe you will help to dismantle and work toward ending racism. We need justice. Some may tell you that you're too young to talk about race. You are not. People may tell you that you should stop talking about skin color and see everyone as a global citizen. You have been told racism isn't a problem anymore and that calling it out or bringing it up in conversation is wrong, but you are not. Racism is a problem, a very serious problem, and it needs to be talked about because it isn't going any away. Um, and it, it isn't going away if we do nothing. Please know you are not alone on this journey. I am here with you, and there are many, many folks who are here with you, who came before you, and who will come long after us. I hope you will share this book with your friends and families, because fighting racism really isn't something you can do on your own. Trust me, it's not. I've tried. It's not. This book is a start, and anti-racism is lifelong work. And it's work that once you've started, you won't be able to stop. It's lifelong. My journey in anti-racism started when I was in third grade, when I was nine years old. And I talk about that later on in the book. Um, and I didn't have a book like this. I didn't have the words to help me understand what was happening, how to stand up and so I wrote this for nine-year-old me. I wrote it for 14-year-old me. 
I wrote it for you. I wrote it for my children, for your teachers, for your librarians, everyone in, in your life, because we're going to be better if we can be anti-racist.